Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a translator using Python, which can convert any language into a selected language. Like if you want to convert a sentence which is written in French into Spanish, then you can do using this program. So first of all, let's see what is the system requirement. We need one external package which is Google Trans. So once again, this video is all about exploring this package only. So just write pip install uh, Google Trans and press enter. Okay, so for me, this package is already installed, but you have to install this. So with this being said and all the requirements satisfied, let's get to our editor and start writing our code. Okay, so now we are into our editor. Let's first import our uh, library from Google Trans import translator actually this t should be capital translator then uh, we want to ask the user for the sentence let's say the variable is sentence only and it will take the input from the user it has to be a string uh, then what we will do say simply <laughs> and then let's close this bracket okay so now I'm creating a basic program to show you that how you can convert and if you want to convert this into really complex and big program you can work on creating a GUI which will also have the option like a Kinta GUI which will have a drop down option of the selected language which a user can select and then translate but I'm going to show you the simple way how the backend of that complex uh, GUI works so you can work on that I'm not gonna get into the front end and waste your time I'll just short out the video by just explaining with the back end front end you can do that okay okay so first of all let's create the object let's say it as translator is equal to translator okay now let's start the conversion let the translated sentence be translated uh, sentence and translator dot translate okay and there is the magic you will write the variable sentence here which is the user input and then and then you can provide two parameters here first is the source language that is the language that the user has provided and then the destination language dst destination language by default the source language is automatically detected by our google translator package and the destination language for default is english but uh, if you want you can specify like let's say that we want to convert from english to let's say uh, french so for french it is now let's see what is the short code for French so I'll provide this link below I found out this website where where we have all the language code for all the language which are which are uh, accepted by the Google translator so let's see uh, we want to convert 
convert the English into let's say Catalan so that is C A Catalan and so we will simply print that out okay we will simply print that out translated sorry translated sentence okay let's save this and run our code so let's see what the output is and uh, the terminal of our sublime text is having some problems so we'll run using the powershell shift plus mouse right click then we'll open powershell window here then we'll write python 1.py and let's say hello so there you can see the translated output is uh, hola okay so what if you want to get so these are the output first is the source that is english the destination is catalan the text is hola the pronunciation is not specified here and this is extra so we only want to know this text here so what we'll simply do is we'll translate dot text uh, yeah let's save this no i don't wanna buy and let's run this again hello how are you okay so make sure that when you are doing this your internet is connected because this all work is done online and if you are not connected to internet you will see an error here and we are having our output hola com ostolos i know this is not the right pronunciation <laughs> okay so now let me show you one more thing now these translated languages are in english characters right these are all english characters what if the translated language or even the source language is not english it is actually any other language like hindi or marathi or which is having some special character like spanish so what will happen then so let me uh, so let me first know that what is the uh, the code for hindi it's hi okay it's hi so we'll change the destination to hi and we'll save this and let's run this again so i'll just close the powershell sorry let me again open the powershell python 1.py let's press enter and then we'll write hello and there you can see nothing is displayed because these characters are not accepted by the powershell i mean nothing will show here because uh, they are not supported by powershell right so let me close this one and show you that how you can uh, see that what the output is we know that it's working fine but uh, the output is not visible for us for us so what you can do is you can work on the jupyter notebook uh, I haven't created any video of how to work on or how, how to get started on Jupyter Notebook so if you already know then well and good and if you don't know then I'll provide some tutorial by some really good uh, YouTuber the link will be below you can watch that get started with Jupyter install that and then you can come here so there you can see I have already written the program the steps remain the same and there you can see the output let's just simply get the text here so let's run this again and there you can see Namaskar
okay so this is what the translation of high in hindi is okay so this is it for this video and i hope you like it and if you like working on this small project project then you are at the right spot i create such short projects so check on my channel and i'll meet you there bye bye